Hey everyone, I'm Claire. We're in the BA Test Kitchen and today we're making gourmet Chromatica Arios. I honestly feel like an industrial fan. Da -da -da -da. Hello everybody, welcome to Mike's Mike. My name is Mike. There's a lot of context here. I'm gonna try and wrap it up quickly. Basically, I am a huge Lady Gaga fan. At this point, Lady Gaga could put her finger on a wall. Someone could take a photo of it and I would buy a print for $100. So as you can imagine, the concept of a Chromatica Oreo is of great interest to me. Whoa, what is this? Yes, Gaga, you look so good. Once again, the world is being geophobic and I cannot buy Chromatica Oreos in person in Australia. So if I wanted to purchase them, I would have to do so online and thus therefore pay international shipping for a cookie. I decided I'm gonna try and make Chromatica Oreos. Do you know the Muffin Man? If you look through my videos, you'll see that I do actually have a history of baking, you and me, we've got a whole lot of history. One Direction did not lie. How am I so good at everything? Keep it to yourself. First things first, I have not had an Oreo before. Surely he's lying, he can't seriously never have had an Oreo. I thought long and hard about this, and while I frequently dabble in mini Oreos, like the packs of mini Oreos, I love those. I've never actually had an Oreo. At least I don't think so. Like maybe I had one 15, 20 years ago when I was 12 because I'm 47 years old. At the very least, I can't remember having a full size Oreo. So what I've got here is pretty much the entire range of Oreos in Australia. Imagine my disappointment. So we're gonna have a little taste test. This is a regular Oreo. Where am I? You know what an Oreo looks like. It's nice, I don't know what you want me to say. It says chocolate cookie sandwich with sweet vanilla cream. Sandwich, I don't know if I'll go that far. When doing my research for this video, I looked up what Chromatica Oreos taste like and the overwhelming response online is that they taste like golden Oreos. Apparently Chromatica Oreos give you like severe diarrhea, which is fun. Interesting, it's not really giving me anything. And finally, I bought these red velvet ones so I could see the color. As you are likely aware, Chromatica Oreos are not colored like a normal cookie. They are pink with green filling, which is giving very much toxic waste. It's giving me dinosaur extinction. It's giving me sour, so sour candy maybe. Babes, why is the filling that color? When you twist them, she breaks in half. He's okay, she's broken. The bestie Claire did the Oreos episode on Gourmet Makes, which I'm going to use as well. And I came to the conclusion that I would use cooking silicon. If I wanted to get cooking silicon, I'd have to buy it online. And if I was buying things online, I would just bloody buy the Chromatica Oreos. And if that doesn't work, what I'll do is I'll just die. The biscuit kind of look like Valentina on All Star. So I've just rewatched Claire's video where she makes gourmet Oreos. We're making different cookies. I forgot, but I'm actually trying to make the golden one because if I make the normal one with the cocoa powder, then how am I gonna dye that? Black does not turn to pink. Black pink! Sift together one cup all-purpose flour, a half a cup bread flour, three tablespoons- Why are we going so fast? Cook two sticks butter over medium low, stirring until butter sputters and then brown. Two sticks of butter seems like a lot, and also what designates a stick? Beat along with two-thirds cup granulated sugar and quarter cup light brown sugar in an electric mixer- Which I don't have. Tee I am the electric mixer. To make the filling, melt 50 grams refined coconut oil and 50 grams raw cocoa butter. So after putting your ingredients together for the filling, you have to use a hand mixer. I also don't have a hand mixer, but I have a hand. Hey. Ah, uh, yes. Do you remember this? It's pop culture history, don't deny it. There have been several developments and they're all bad. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna scrape the filling off the inside of these golden Oreos and then put the food dye and mix it and then put it back on my Oreos. I know it's not the perfect solution, but at least it'll taste like it should. These producers. I've kind of resigned myself to the fact that this is gonna be a disaster. So the expectation is very low. Since I'm not adding cocoa, that's like another dry ingredient that I'm not adding. So this is gonna be like sludge. You okay, hon? One cup of vodka. Best before 20th of September, 2019. This counts as sifting. Bing, bang, bong. And half a teaspoon of bicarb soda. I'll take the strawberry soda. I'll have the orange soda. So next, Claire says that you need to do two sticks of butter and you need to melt them. So this is 250 grams, so I'm just gonna, you know? Unleash the base, bimini! This feels like an obscene amount of butter. I don't really know why this is happening because 
I'm gonna melt it just to cool it again. Stir over the ice bath until it's room temperature. I don't have an ice bath. This is sick and twisted. Nothing to see here, just literally boiling butter. You want to cool down. To whom it may concern, I made an ice bath in the sink using my HelloFresh ice blocks, not sponsored, but it could be. So then now I need to add 155 grams of this butter and put it in the mixer, not this. Oh, I've already messed it up. Now I've lost track. I don't even know how, no. I think that's enough. I don't know, I don't know. Why 155? Why is no one being up front? Everybody, welcome to the stage. Caster sugar. Babe, are you okay? You've barely touched your granulated sugar. Quarter cup brown sugar. I just know this is gonna take decades to combine without a stand mixer. Call the police, we need to call the police. This is my impersonation of a stand mixer, okay? Everybody welcome to the stage, stand mixer. I don't know what I expected. This is literally just fat and sugar. One teaspoon vanilla. And I was like, baby. Check out, I'm blonde, I'm pretty, I'm rich, and I'm a little bit of a bitch. Babes, this is so dry. And for what? Another day, another dollar. Am I right, bakers? Bakers be like, oh my God, babe, are you okay? You've barely touched your reconstituted butter. Oh my God, I've kind of had enough. I wanna give up. Should I just mix it with my hands? Should I, should I just do it? Yeah, I think, I think I'll just do it. Now I need to make this Chromatica. I've got my reference pick here and Chromatica pink is kind of orange. Well, that seems like a lot. I should have done it when it was wet ingredients. Bro, I've cooked it. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. Wait, it's kind of working. Oh my God, would you like some cookie with your food dye? Wait a minute. I'm actually collapsing on the floor in shock because this is starting to look like the correct color. <gasps> Ooh, she nearly went flying. Not the skydive. I'm telling you, I just know Jamie Oliver is cowering in a corner somewhere because I'm coming for his career. Are you kidding? That's literally the exact same color. And I tasted it, I did. And it tastes exactly like the golden Oreos. Oh my gosh, I'm actually, so Claire's saying you put them in the mold and then you freeze it for 10 minutes. I'm literally having Oreos for dinner. This is a little bit sick and twisted because how am I gonna make this round? While I'm doing this, did you notice that shirt that I was wearing at the start of the video? That's what you said. And you know what? I, what was that? Okay, James. I've been working on that behind the scenes for a while. There's four shirts. Well, actually five, one of them has a velvet version. And to be fully transparent, I had originally hoped to launch middle of February, but because of like international tax rules and all that kind of stuff, it's taking ages to set it up. I'm not going through a merch company, I'm building it from the ground up, which has turned out to be, mm. The lighting is evidently not gorgeous, but what are you gonna do about it? I'm literally waiting for you to do something about it. Oh no, not that. <laughs> This is sick and twisted. It's a Hollywood moment. One of them has to say Chromatica, but I am kind of not gonna do it <laughs> because Chromatica is like embossed. So I'd have to cut out the rest of it. And no, it looks like it says Chromatica. Gagatrandra. On Mars, maybe. Gagatrandra. Things have happened. First of all, I'll show you the thing that I'm very happy with. I made the little insides. What I did was I decapitated Five of the blonde Oreos, the Blorios, also found out they're called golden Oreos. They were never blonde to start with. I don't know why I decided that was the case. Now these just look like poker chips. I would like to bet 10, thank you. And now, back to this bitch that had a lot to say about me the other day in the press. Cookie, what's good? This right here is correct. This is correct and this is correct. So I just want you to look at these two things. Let me get up a close and personal. Here we have the Chromatica dough that looks like mints and together they make Chromatica Oreos done and the video fantastic. When you take this correct color and you put it in the oven. Oh my God, you guys, he's got the Chromatica Oreo. So this is what happened after they went in the oven. I know exactly what went wrong. There's too much butter. She's basically deep fried. How do they do it? How do they get it so that it's the same color throughout the whole thing? I'm very suspicious, something's going on here. But now I'm gonna do a little snap test, ready? It doesn't look that bad. I think this one is supposed to be Lady Gaga. So do with that information what you will. This one is supposed to say Chromatica. I think it's that way. It looks like it's ancient hieroglyphics. It's giving me 
ancient Mayan tea. It's giving me Aztec. This one is the love heart one. It kind of ate. I'm screaming because it is very much attached to the paper. Oh my God. Can you let me do what I need to do? Wait, is he wearing the, the Chromatica Oreos? Yes. It tastes like an Oreo. The way that I can't stop winning. Oh my God, there's just so much sugar. Oh my God, bestie, are you okay? You've barely eaten your disfigured bootleg Chromatica Oreo. Behold, the Chromatica Oreo. Wow, wow. Someone call Lady Gaga and tell her that I stole her brand. I'm trying to get her good angle, but I'm very quickly realizing she doesn't have one. Overall, not terrible, but also, not anywhere close to being good. That brings me to the end of this video. If you enjoyed it, feel free to leave a like. If you've got something to say, leave a comment. If you're not subscribed, already make sure you hit that subscribe button. Lady Gaga, if you're watching this and or Oreos, if you're watching this, feel free to send me Oreos PR. Thank you all for watching and I'll talk to you soon. Peace out, bye, yeah. Hey bestie, hey bestie, hey bestie. Hey bestie, hey bestie, hey bestie. Welcome to the end screen. Here you will find another video for you to watch and a link to easily subscribe to my channel. So make sure you subscribe to my channel.